Looming 16 floors above the UC campus, Crosley Tower houses science labs. And in many ways, the building itself has been one big experiment in public opinion. Most people I've seen have very strong, I love it or I hate it. Built in 1969 in the popular brutalist style of the time, Crosley Tower is both beloved and reviled. And as early as 2025, set to meet the same fate as the building next door. UC says it simply can't adapt the building to modern needs and want to build a more horizontal building as opposed to a tower. I'm not going to be sad when it goes. It really is kind of like a little bit of an eyesore. Like it, it's kind of cool to look at a little bit, but it, you know, it is kind of like, it's just a big, uh, brutalist style eyesore. In 2017, Architectural Digest named it one of the seven ugliest buildings in the entire country. Yet some would argue there's more than meets the eye. I, contrary to most folks, think it's a great building and it should not be torn down. Lucas Tarek is studying architecture and says Crosley Tower is an invaluable part of UC history. It's the world's second largest building made using a single pour of concrete. Construction crews poured continuously for 18 days. I think it's just like a classic historical University of Cincinnati piece. So I personally would be kind of upset to see it go. It's uh, only been there since 1969, though. That, well, I don't know. Uh, I, I, that's a long time to me. If there's any upside for those who'd like to keep Crosley Tower, it's that they'll have a long time to say goodbye. The school first announced plans to demolish it in 2018, and demolition won't start for another two years. Every year we've had it, it's been like, yes, another year of Crosley, but it was, couldn't last forever. At UC, Luke Jones, Local 12 News. Construction on the tower's replacement will begin in 2027. The whole project, including demolition, will cost $240 million. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.